teams from all over the world have been battling it out for the title of Homeless World Cup champions. But Wales player Paul Francis says despite the competition, the teams have all formed strong bonds. So many people are ostracised away from family and you turn up to the Homeless World Cup and it is just one massive family you know I mean? from 51 countries and everyone just gets on, it's great. Paul's been homeless on and off since he was 14 years old. He used to sleep on the streets of Swansea. I wouldn't be in the position I am now without the Homeless World Cup. I'd recommend this experience for anyone because it does help. It's been the most successful year yet for the Wales men's squad, but the women's team have been celebrating too after beating the Netherlands 9-7. Bonnie's family have been cheering her on throughout the women's games. Earlier in the week, her children even joined her on the pitch to sing the national anthem. Quite emotional because I just don't want it to end. It's been amazing. I never thought I would be able to do it. Actor Michael Sheen led the bid to bring the Homeless World Cup to Cardiff this year. He says during the event, more homeless people have been seeking support from the Wallach charity. My job isn't to go out there. My job is to do what's happening here uh, for now. The first thing that people do as they come into this site is they see that there's uh, support there for them. The Wallach said that they had about 17 engagements with people on day one. We're up to now hundreds are happening every day, so which is fantastic and phenomenal. Although homelessness is still a major issue in Wales, this event has certainly brought hope and joy to those involved. Yay! And as it draws to a close in Cardiff, it's announced Finland will host the Games next year. Kiriko Anenis, ITV News.